Why I'm looking down from where I'm at? The bottom's always overcrowded. All right. We have another thing here within Hogsmeade, do we not? Um, we should, right? Yeah. Outside of Hogsmeade. Well, while I'm here, where's the... Is this one? Yeah, it's this one. Wingardium Ask, I'm all out of the new sock, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. <laughs> well, this, okay. Here. 73. And I can add destruction. I kind of have a thing for cows. Well, that wasn't bad timing, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. I do not have a thing for cows, damn it. <laughs> Got him! This fucking guy. <laughs> um. Do I really. I don't even think I really need to buy that. Uh oh. I need to buy this. That is my purchase. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. No, go on, go on, go on, go on. Shut up, bitch. Get rid of all this garbage that I don't need. All this garbaggio. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're Oh around. my god, the slow walk. Thank god. Alright, go talk to Natty. Oh, hello, Natty! Oh, that's why she's outside of Hogsmeade. She's not in Hogsmeade. What the fuck is she doing down here? Why are you just like are you ready to in put an end to random Hannah? shit? Yeah. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest hmm. that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the hog's head, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. And true. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. I bet. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go to... Fucking Hogwarts. And then... Astronomy. What the fuck do you mean, bruh? I'm allowed to travel wherever the fuck I goddamn well please. Alright. Apparently the fuck not. Bitch. God damn it, bro. Like why why are the flus not available? It's really annoying, actually. Not enough reflection on the sun. Open the sashimi, bitches. Mrs. Rape should be nearby. And how the hell would I even know that? Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rape, I wonder if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. 
I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached hmm. me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my mm. husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is mm. help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Hmm. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Mm. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Mm. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Too late. I am in much danger. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Oh. Bickles are the two... Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Uh, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been... What? Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? <laughs> it's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know mm. Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks mm. ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I mm. went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well secretly engaged these past six months we mm. haven't told mr hill yet i dare say he has higher hopes for her harlow mm. advised me in no <laughs> certain terms that my relationship with rosie not to mention my employment here depended upon my cooperation what does he ask you to do it mm. all happened so quickly in an instant he took a very expensive scarf from the counter pocketed it and smiled he said your secret is huh. safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for huh. his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. So, for him stealing some, like, scarves and shit... Right? Like, that's impactful in what way? Like, the fuck? What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and be worthy of Rosie. Hmm. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. 
but when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. Huh. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, mm -hmm. should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Mm hmm. Now hurry okay. on before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. All right. A little spiral stair. Case that's broken. Alrighty then. I got this fill, but must be around mm. here somewhere. All right. Hello there. Cold as shit. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. This guy. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation. And so I refused. You pansy bitch! If you had spoken out against him, as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, mm. one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprised Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Extortion Harlow for what? Does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. I want to find Natty. Alright. So he didn't want to say anything, even though he got robbed and petrified. The fuck kind of dumb bullshit is that? It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Making me go all the way back to where I just came from. Basically. That's crazy. Oh, I can just keep getting... F no way! I got an extra fucking 500 for that. What the? What the? Jamala! Thank you. That is what I'm looking for. Somewhere. Oh god, Natty's here we go. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Revelio. God, here we go. Here we go. Hmm. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> I'll fucking blow your head off. Hmm. 
Hmm. Matthew must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. All right, into the hideout we go. I'm hoping there's a whole lot of fucking combat here. To this room. There must be another way forward. Hmm. Yeah. The hidden door. Uh huh. Matthew must have been taken Simple. this way. I need to find her quickly. You take your money, nerds. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. That scene, I'll kill them all. Hmm. Well, I mean, he is kind of right. I am arrogant enough to come in here by myself <laughs> without having a damn backup. Oh god! Holy shit! Fuck you, Gwendolyn! Dumb bitch! Oh god! I did not know this dude was sitting right here. All right, I got a little more room to work with. It's kind of stuck in there for for a second. Ha! I dodged your shit and hit you with a thing. Ow! Fuck! Fucking take you out! Oh god! Oh god! This the slow crouch walk. Oh god, the slow crouch walk. Aha. Fuck you, idiot. Oh my god, he went to the moon. <laughs> Yo, what? Ow! Bruh, fuck you. You withstood a lightning bolt? No shot, bro. Any fucking heal. There's no way. Oh, this is one. Fuck your goddamn lightning thorn. Fuck you. Man. All right. Well, Rebellion. that was a bit more intense than I had uh, originally anticipated. However, I kicked their booty.
I kick the motherfucking booty. Oh, the chest I missed actually anything. Oh shit. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted uh -huh. me to destroy this if I found it. Yeah, well, let's, let's go ahead and do that. Rebellion. Oh, wait, I think I know. I go in here. Confringo. Yeah. In the little, little secret compartment. And I got a fucking green that I'm not going to give a shit about until I can break down. Let's go. <laughs> and that side is open. Little rat. Rebellion. And this just takes me up that way. Hmm. Oh. Can't. Can't jump down there. So let's go back through this shit. There's plenty of loot out here that we can get. Rebellion. Big old loot box right there. Old purple. What kind of what kind of good ass loot we got? Ooh, new gloves. I don't think we've found a new glove in a while. And that's pretty good. Damn! Look at all these goodies. Here. You motherfucker. Rebellion. Right, wasn't it right there? Oh, it's right here. Nice. We, we figured out how to make a desk. Cool beans. Give me that. Go green. Money, money, money. Money, money. Give me all the money. What is this? Hmm. The book of poems that was taken from Agatha's Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Let's fucking go. Alright. Oh, up yonder. Oh, I literally could have just gone this way and gone. That he must be good to know. Money. Rebellion. Aha. Level oh, one lock, huh? Level one lock. Ooh, look at that. The luck of the Irish. Isco Rabel Long. Here you go. Mr. Rabe, Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Go ahead and do it. Bingo bango. Is it? Nothing crazy? Oh, that's an Iron Maiden right there. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, 
but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Of course, be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Ooh, more fighting? Let's go. More peoples? Hmm, so we're going over there, huh? Or are we, are we just going out? Are we just leaving? Is that what we're doing? We're just leaving? I guess we're just, we're just getting the fuck out of here. Because I killed them all already. Fuck them bitches. Hell yeah. Make that shit so much easier. Let's to... find Officer Singer and put an end to <laughs> It would have been one... so much easier to sneak through and then fight them all with Natty there. Because she could have taken a little bit of the heat. But we still fucking did it. Because I'm a motherfucking badass. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Hmm. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you too. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife, Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. We don't have to discuss Natsai, it. I'm not going to listen to you. to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Nice. Faces for blackmail. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Can I fucking go back to uh, Hogwarts? Please. Now I can do the fucking. Why couldn't I do that like before? I don't know. Fucking weird, man. Fucking weird. The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent... Recent marriage? Oh, that's fucking spoopy, man. That is mega spoopy. Identify everything. Oh, look at that. Look at that! I got upgrades of basically everything. Let's go. All right, we got in here. Eighty three. Well, that's a seven point upgrade. That trait's got to get changed though. Imperial target does extra damage. What does Imperial actually do in this game? Does it make them attack the others? Maybe. But I won't I won't be using Imperial, so. That is just a creepy mask. Boom. Boom. Got ourselves a new hat. 82 from 76 at 6. Oh my god, look at how fucking massive that is. 
Oh my god, look at this fucking giant ass hat, bro. And the curly Q top. Look at that shit. And it's fine. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 -na. This one's not as good, right? Yeah. Got a Defendo trade on there. Um, I am not quite 30 for that. Just about to be 30, though. And I just need to find me a new outfit. Like, why? Alright, so... I don't know exactly what I need. My hat was Bombarda. Is it a three? It was a two. Uh, Bombarda. Boom. Upgrade. Sure, why not? One. Two. And I don't have any more toad warts. Um. The fur coat. Should have concentration. Um, unforgivable to okay. Give me concentration. Puff skin fur. Moon Caffer. Thestral hair and such. Phoenix feather. I haven't found a phoenix yet. Uh, my glove was concentration. Grade? Fuck yeah. Um destruction three Ringo. Three. Measle fur. And upgrade one time. Boom. Look at that. So oh, I need to find more toad warts. But I think that's fine. Dun, 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 dun. So concentration, concentration. We have a Gringo Bombarda and Gringo Bombarda. Bet. Alright, but I need what do I need for the Moon Calf fur? I think the moon caps are over here, if I remember right. Yeah. Um. Just give me, give me everything. Yoinky. Sploinky. You're all getting a getting a brush. And where's the other little shit? I don't know where the other little shit is. You eat. You eat. Oh god! No 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 no! Come here! That was an accident. <laughs> I just fucking shot the damn thing. Bro. Collect. Eh. Collect. Collect that. Collect that. Thank you. Did I get this one? I did. Um, I need to feed you. I could have sworn I had another little little furry ball here. I guess not. I guess fucking not. Alright, well, let's get out here. 
And I suppose we'll go check the other ones, too. And just collect all of our materials. Just waiting for that flashbang. Bam! Solar cannon! Cannon, cannon, cannon. Oh, I got, like, extra nifflers. You get stroked by the, uh, the thing. Boom. Boom. You eat. You're gonna get some treats. You can have some. You are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Reb and I from the Ashwinders. We have come so far. We should discuss the next Wait. steps in our plan to Wait. stop Harlow. Then I gotta go to you. All right, cat. Give me some fucking whiskers, man. You eat them, dear whiskers. A fur. I swear, I have a fucking lash in my eye. An eyelash. What is this? The whole extra room down here. Sick! That's fucking cool. Boom. And here we should have... Yeah, hello. Hello! Yeah, he's fucking laying down. Getting pet and shit. Bam. Yoink. Yoink. Ah, look at that. They fucking... They fucking made one. Let's go. Made, made a little, uh, yoinky splinky. Did I give you food? I did not give you food. Take the food. Get brushed. Full of I the dead. Huh? To know about the newborn festival. Yeah. Doink. Newborn festival. Those fucking festivals went all bingo bango. Um, before I do that, let me go ahead and fucking fully upload, upgrade shit as much as I can. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I need more Flooper Feather. I think I can buy that, though. Need more Flooper for that. And a Grap Horn Horn. And a Hippogriff Feather, of which I don't have. So. Yeah. And I'm not gonna waste materials on this. Oh, I should have fucking upgraded this. No! Dumb. Well, oh well. It is what it is. Engine beasts. Uh, I can put you in here. Griff Highway. Yo, what's what's up, Hippo Green? Come on, give me your food. Take the food. Le food and le food. There you go. 
Um, is it... Ah, it's a male and female hippogriff. Let's go, man. Let's fucking go. Thanks, High Wing. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Alright, that's all take care of. What up, Deke? Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, huh. Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix. The rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix mm. was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliff Damn. for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. Hmm. That's kind of a, a, a dark realization that his fucking master was fucked. Now, at the same time, they're all fucked, but they have a house up. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Hmm. Okay. You're really not going to give me the level up? Bro, what? No way, bro. <laughs> Dude, what? Like, how small of a spot? Dude, what are we, like, three fucking XP off or some shit? Are we literally one right now? Because that's annoying. That's so fucking stupid. Oh my fucking god. Alright, well let's uh let's pick a quest. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh oh. Grief and Vengeance. Yeah, let's go talk to Natty. Enzo. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've most I'll blow you up, Chuck. <laughs> ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. Yeah. Let's speak. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, mm. she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. <laughs> I don't blame her for being concerned. We have been involved in some dangerous activities. As the Ashwinders were locking me up and threatening my life, it did occur to me that my mother may have been right. <laughs> <laughs> has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Harlow huh. is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters... Officer like Singer is in uh, my fucking... My father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. 
My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe, <laughs> and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were nice. on our way home. It was a straight-up fucking giraffe. That's awesome. Who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Any dad would have done that. Well, any responsible dad would have done that anyway. So. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and mm -hmm. I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making yeah. progress, and we will succeed. Yeah, fuck them bitches. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Bet. Now, let me get some of this food. Because me be hungry. Then ask me why I move without him. Why I'm looking down from where I'm at. The bottom's always overcrowded. 